We have Steve from Women TV. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks a lot for uh, coming by, mate. So we'll talk about Liverpool today. First half, I'd like to give you a general impression about this season. Have a roll on if you're surprised. Uh, then second half, we'd love to hear your brutally honest opinion on Endo. His first impression, even before he kicked the ball, what you think of him, his signing and uh, how he has uh, ended up getting the December Player of the Month. Absolutely. To answer your first question, Liverpool season so far, absolutely a bit of surprise. Mm. Obviously, Liverpool had a poor season last year. They they changed a lot, including Endo signing, but they signed quite a few players. We all thought that this is a season where they will, will rebuild, try and get a Champions League place again, maybe win a cup competition, perhaps Europa League, for example, yep. with, with the aim of then going again pushing on for a title next season. The way it's panned out is Liverpool, top of the Premier League, yeah. got through in the Europa League as group winners. They've done well domestic cups as well. Uh, yeah, I'd say a bit of surprise. I, I expected mm. Liverpool kind of to be maybe third, fifth. Mm. Uh, well, City and Arsenal, they would probably be battling for the title with Liverpool, maybe yep. just a little bit behind them. Um, mm. And it has that, that's not been the case. Yeah. Liverpool have been excellent. Pretty, They've become really difficult to beat. Um, mm. And that was not mm. the case last year. Too many teams found That's it true. relatively easy to beat Liverpool. Mm. And that has not been the case this year. Even when we haven't played well, they've managed to mm. find a way to win or get a point. Whereas last year, it kind of felt like they were they were rolling over the teams too easily. So, yeah, I think proud and surprised would be the mm. two words that I would uh, use to describe this season so far. As a Liverpool fan, I said on my channel, if we're with five points of first at the turn of the year, I'll be happy. Absolutely up by two points so i agree i'm really surprised we're first and i'm really surprised we actually have the best defense in the league don't we and it kind of feels like yep. where we concede often it, it feels that way yeah what they do well is teams often score against liverpool but yeah. they don't score twos and threes yeah and that's what i'm saying hard to beat you know you to beat score to beat those you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to score a couple of goals and very few teams have been able to do it yeah. Fulham in the league did it a couple of times where they conceded a couple of goals but very very rarely did they concede more than one and having the best goalkeeper in the world yeah helps that. he's a bit monster huh he's probably saved probably five years classes almost certain goals so that mm -hmm. that aids that but you're absolutely right as in seasons gone by when we've been top of the league it's been kind of we've scored more goals than we've scored now but often mm. we've let more in this has been a bit more you're right as a fan it look it ne you never feel completely secure with liverpool they do give chances they play a high risk style of football which which mm. is going to lead to team getting chances against them but they trust the goalkeeper and they trust the defenders to be able to to do their jobs and for the most part like you say best defensive record in the league mm. um, that that is certainly surprising considering yeah. again how easy it was for those against liverpool last season mm -hmm. the midfield we have a brand new for player Curtis Jones is playing well. How do you see the new, new the the midfield this year? First of all, it's got a lot more energy than last year's midfield. Teams found it quite easy to run all over Liverpool last season in the midfield. You know, mm. whether it was Henderson, Milne, a bit of Thiago when he was playing, um, yeah, Kate and I was injured. It didn't yeah. really work. Teams found it easy to play against us. Um, we'll we speak again though later, of course. Him, McAllister have done a really good job um, at shore in the back playing as number six. And then you, the likes of Sebastian Lai was a revelation when he mm -hmm. first started. Joe, yeah. as you mentioned, has been good. It's been good. So, yeah, you're right. I think that is the that's the main difference between the two, this Liverpool compared to last season's Liverpool. There seems to be a lot more energy in midfield and more goals as well. Yeah. You know, McAllister scored, scored, oh. Sebastian Lai scored, Graham Bates scored, Jung. You know, we didn't really have goals in the team in midfield last season for Fabinho, Henderson, mm. Milner, Chamberlain, Kate. That, that is what Jürgen's done. That's why it's remarkable, really. He's yeah. built his team down that area and he's done it so well and and so quickly i assume you're local yes yes yeah do you feel like there's a little bit of different buzz in, within the stadium 100 uh, last season was more uh, it was almost we were trying to g the players up to yeah. go you know, we, we believe in you and it was bad it was, and it was mm. just around this time he, it got really bad I they see. were getting battered by brighton and oh yeah it was it was hard it was really tough. I see the goal is like, well, that's, we're not, we, we can't win this game. Now it's okay. Mm -hmm. We can see daily, but we back the guys. We, we think we can win this again. So, yeah. what their performances on the pitch have definitely led to more belief in the stands, one hundred percent. Man, with, with our forwards, the five forwards, they can exploit any time. Anyone that could come off the bench, Gakpo, Nunes, Jota, you name it. Anyone can just exploit and two scores, one assist or something, right? So we, we just don't stop leaving. Yeah, you're right. And what, what it does, it's how much hard as a defender. So you, so you've got Salah, Jota, Diaz, and you think, okay, we've done well for an hour. Mm. Here comes Gakpo, here comes mm. Nunes, whatever. So now Jürgen subs impacting the game. Does, yeah. you know, they've been really good. Players scoring goals off the bench. Nunes at Newcastle is the obvious ball, but 
all through the season, Jürgen's made subs. They've been mm. and they've and they've got they've made goals. They've made assists. We've seen that in very in, in a lot of recent games. Now Liverpool's squad depth has been tested severely with injuries. Salah going off us to the Afcon and end up mm. going to the Asia Cup. Mm. The Liverpool squad was tested, but even then, um, they've been able to have a couple of more, a couple of senior players on the bench. And crucially, I think kind of the, the, the most important thing is young players from yeah. the academy have stepped up and in when needed. Um, Connor Bradley and Jarrell Quanta mm-hmm. are the two ones that spring to mind straight away. Yeah. They are almost bonus additions to the squad there. We didn't mm-hmm. know what that they were there. All, yeah. all of a sudden, you know, Quanta is playing in big games mm-hmm. and doing well, kind of starting Premier League games. Both of them, mate, they, they've been flawless. Yeah, 100%. They, they actually haven't yeah. made any mistakes. Absolutely, honestly. Especially Quanta. Um, yeah. I think not easy is the wrong word, but I think if you're going to make your debut as a defender, being a fullback, the better place mm-hmm. to do it. You've got a bit more protection when yeah. you're in front of you. You've got your defenders to help you. Mm-hmm. That centre back, and especially as a Liverpool centre back, you're exposed. You've got no help, really. Yeah. You've got Virgil van Dijk, and that's about it. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, Quantz has been a revelation. Obviously, Joel Matip's injury needed something, yeah. and we're quite lucky. Obviously, Joe Gomez has been playing as a fullback because, again, injuries to Trent, Alexander Arnold, and Robertson, Tim McCass. Um, and Hunter's been a revelation, he really has. He's been the real surprise package of the season, has been how mm. good he is. I remember he started in the league and we were, it was like, wow. You know, lots of eyebrows, lots of surprise, lots of worry. Now you see his name on the team sheet and it's like, oh, okay, that's absolutely fine. That's a credit to him. Yeah, what a gem, huh? So lastly, I want to talk about Endo. I love him. I love him. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, yeah, good. I actually spoke to James Pierce earlier in the season. And I told him yeah. I could see him being a cult star. His style, he's a fighter, he's aggressive. I mean, he's only got, I think, one or two goals, two two goals. But he, he likes he likes, he likes likes to let him know. I'm really happy that your first one was, was I love him. Can I ask you how your first impression and, and, and how he has gone this season? He was a very surprise signing. I wasn't aware of him before he signed for Liverpool. Um, and I did a video on the channel. I was, and I was like, wow, okay. Like, I'll be honest, I don't know much about this player. Mm. He's obviously coming on the back of Liverpool trying to sign Moises Casado. They tried to sign Lavia as yeah. well. Um, yeah, that was a bit of an embarrassment, but those deals didn't happen. It was like, okay, we signed Endo, who, you know, it's a very un Liverpool signing, mainly because of his mm. age. Yep. Um, 30, 31 year old players, that's not something we tend to do. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was very much a surprise when it happened. It took him a little while to get used to the, the speed of the Premier League. I think that's fair to yeah. say. I think he'd acknowledged it himself. Mm-hmm. You spoke at the top of the show, you know, December's player of the month, Liverpool. Who's Alexis McAllister to injury? Then those forced to, and, he, and he's, he's in the team and he's playing. He played really well. You're right. The, the attitude, the gum shield, and the street yeah. fighter mentality. It's really easy to root for a guy like that. It's really mm. easy to get behind. All Liverpool fans ask, and you know this, Ken, yourself as a fan. If you give 100 yeah. percent every single time, we can't ask for much more than that. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what we've got with Endo. Mm. He's very experienced. The way he, he takes mm-hmm. a good position. He's really good in the air. Mm. And he's not that tough. What I've been pleasantly surprised by is how good he is on the ball. He's really mm. good on the ball. Good turns. His first touch always leads uh, into space. He scored some big goals. He scored a big goal. The goal yeah. against Fulham was a, against Fulham. a lovely goal. Yeah. A massive goal. And mm. If Liverpool go on this title this season, that's a, that's a huge moment where you're losing at home with like 80 minutes gone and you go mm. and turn the game into... Now that's a three-point swing in, in, in one game. So mm. I've been mightily impressed. Again, I'll be honest, my ignorance, I wasn't really aware mm. of him. I stuck up signed him and when we've tended to sign the third or fourth option it's not really gone well for Liverpool right that has not been the case with Endo I think we opened the new stand we sent our crew down there to video and Jürgen literally said uh, summer didn't go too well some of the guys we wanted we didn't quite get but it tends to be lucky we've been really lucky and that's because obviously Casado and, and Lavia haven't done mm. much at Chelsea yeah. but also Endo's been fantastic and, and like I say got voted Liverpool's best player in December a month where Liverpool won a lot of games. Yeah, you know, Sal- Salah scored a lot of goals. Which yeah. we did. We, we, Van Dijk was excellent, and then and, and Endo deserved it. He was he was a star, and he's really been he's been a real positive for us. He's been a you mentioned before about surprises. He's another one. I thought he was going to play in Europa League, League Cup mm. games, and just give up, give give other players a bit the, of a rest. The Mina Mina, our last Japanese player. But yes, potentially, yeah, and, and and maybe that's an unfair comparison that we've just made. You know, mm. Japanese player coming with a relatively low transfer fee. It's mm. been it's been different. Klopp's trusted Endo in some big games. He brought him on. They pulled down to ten men against Newcastle. He brings him on mm. to bring a bit of goal and balance. Brings him on to Tottenham. They pulled down to nine. Mm. And then he, he has trusted him in some big. This has not been just a guy who's like an afterthought. He's been a 
a real positive. Yeah, no, great to hear. Obviously, being a Japanese, I know well him well. He's our national captain. And yeah, that Kaiseido uh, stuff happened. Then he came, and first day I was like, oh, really? In a surprised, a little bit negative way. But more I thought about it, I was like, oh no, it make, makes sense. His attributes is exactly what, what Liverpool needed. So I'm super happy. But I was always a little bit worried about his um, skills, about his touch. And at the start, he was a bit, uh, he looked rusty or, or just probably not used to the league. But then, yeah, he's an experienced yeah. man. So I thank God in December, he looks good. What's helped then, though, I think it's almost a weird way is that as he's gone away, Alexis has, gone, Alexis has been good. Yeah. Um, helped. Because that was that was the, the worry. Um, if, if Alexis took a while to get going again, mm-hmm. then there was you know, there was one of the better players, like we mentioned. So that mm. is that is saying anyhow. this could be just a bias, but uh, like McAllister had a massive game against Bournemouth on the weekend, and I reckon McAllister had a good defensive game. But me, Japanese guy, I'm thinking he saw Endo's game and picked up a little bit of little bit of defensive hints here and there. And, them having that competition is a good thing for the squad. Yeah, absolutely. Liverpool, it looks like Liverpool are going to play a lot of games this season. Can obviously they're, they're going for mm. the league. Then in Europe, still the cup competitions are ongoing. So mm. Liverpool could play a lot of games, a la, uh, like we did in two thousand and two. Mm. You're going to need your squad. You know, Endo, I'm just looking. He's played double digit games already. He's already featured in like twenty four games. Wow, really? Wow, already? That, yeah, that is surprising. He's been away with the obviously with, with Japan in the Asia Cup, so he's missed a few weeks as well. So he's been a very important part of the team, hundred percent. Well, let's hope. Uh, fingers crossed, we'll get the quadruple this year. Fingers crossed. I will have to fly down to Liverpool and uh, come join the parade. You're more than welcome, pal. We'll we'll treat you well if you get here. For sure. Yeah, thanks, mate. Yeah, show me around. Show me your best pub spots. Absolutely. All right, cheers, mate. Thanks so much. Thanks, Ken. Appreciate. It. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, thanks, mate. 